What's up guys? This is Real Chief here and welcome back to my channel. As always, my name is Mike and today we are going to be talking about track. Now we all know that um, companies like Atlas and Gargraves have made a great lineup of track systems over the years, but what is the worst track system ever made? That's what we're actually going to be discussing about in today's episode. Now I have two sections of track with me right here. I have a section of MTH Real Track and they also have a piece of Lionel Fast Track. Now let's go ahead and see if we can apply both of these track sections to power. But, for, but before we continue on, I just want to clarify this isn't a popularity contest or a criticism whatsoever. This is just a demonstration on how each track section performs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, we're going to test out the Rail King um, MTH Real Tracks here. And what I have running is the 2035 from Lionel from 1947. So we'll see how she runs. So let's go ahead and apply it to power and we'll see what happens. Hmm? Looks like we're not getting any electricity flowing through the track. So that's not good. All right, let's try the other track section over here and see if that one works. Back it up, and it seems to be that we have a dead section here, so not really the best conductor of electricity as far as running trains goes. So now let's go ahead and swap out the MTH real tracks for some Lionel fast track, and we'll see if that makes any difference. All right, next up I have an old section of Lionel fast track that I had lying around. So let's go ahead and apply its power and see if it performs a little bit better than the MTH real track. Start that again. Okay, so now I got a set of junky old fast track that I had lying around. So we're gonna see if this works any better than the MTH real tracks. Well, when it comes to conducting ele electricity here, it seems to work a little bit better, but the downside is, is that the road bed that this track comes with is very noisy. So that's the one thing you want to keep in mind when considering buying uh, this type of track from Lionel. So another thing that I want to mention to you guys is that you want to be careful on what type of voltage you're running with this type of track. Cause with the ZW80 here, it's no problem even though this isn't really technically the best transformer ever made by Lionel. As you can see, it's very noisy. But anyway, with the ZW80, it seems to have no problem running this type of track, but if you do this with some of the old pre-war or post-war transformers, it, depending on how much voltage you run, the plastic underneath the base tends to melt here, so that could be very problematic. Now, while I was running the MTH real track sections before, I seem to notice that these sections don't really connect too well with each other. And what I mean by that is, if you look on the screen here in front of you, you notice that there was a little bit of a gap in between the rails. And that also could be very problematic when running track sections like these. Now with Lionel's fast track, the problems are still pretty much the same. Sometimes you have sections that don't really connect too well with each other, but the operation of the track is a little bit better. But the problem is, like I mentioned earlier, is that when running trains on these type of track sections, they can be very noisy. So you really need to find a good type of carpet or sound deadening system to help solve that problem. Now, both of these track sections here have their pros and cons. 
For Lionel, my suggestion would be to make a better type of roadbed system that isn't too noisy, but also make sure to find a different type of plastic so that way that the, um, the roadbed doesn't melt once you apply power to the track. And as for MTH's real track system, my suggestion would be to work on those rail joiners and make sure that the track sections click in perfectly without any gaps in between. And I know I've asked this question, which is the worst track section out of all of them here that I've shown you guys? Well, that's up for you to decide in the comments section below. By the way, in case you guys are wondering what, what this green tabletop is from, make sure to check out my next video to find out the answer. But until then, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload. But until next time, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Thanks again, and take care.